Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here at Lake Oswego High School. Now, for a lot of you, you won't understand, but I teach at Oswego High School, which is in New York. Lake Oswego High School is in Oregon, on the other side of the country. I wonder what's happening here. I'm here with uh, Steve Huss, who's a physics or science teacher at Lake Oswego High School. Correct. Now, I teach at Oswego High School, which is on the east coast of the United States, and you teach at Lake Oswego High School. Which is in Lake Oswego, Oregon, so that's on the, the west, west coast. coast of the United States. So now I've got a question that I'm sure all of my students have been dying to know. Correct. The water drains in the east coast clockwise. Does it drain counterclockwise here on the west coast? No, it dr drains the same exact way. Oh, why would that be? I think maybe because we're in the northern hemisphere. Ah, so it's a hemispherical thing, not far away thing. Correct. All right, so it's a Coriolis effect that causes Coriolis effect really doesn't affect the water in your drain anyway. That's probably correct, yes. So what you're saying is that in the southern hemisphere, water drains the same way. It's all based on the design of the, the sink. Yeah, which way the water comes in and which way the water goes out. Ah, well, there we go. That mystery solved here at Lake Oswego High School. Thanks for watching. Thanks.